hello guys uh, welcome back in my last video we talked about how sqo sequencer output is replacing the letter logic uh, long sequences now i'm going to talk about how you can how you can program this sqo instruction so for the sqo instruction first thing is file it's looking for a file address so i'm i'm using here b3 column 2 and this uh, hashtag in front of it it tells you the whole file or whole word so when you i'm going into the binary i'm using b3 2 so if i'm using hashtag in front of it it means i'm talking about the whole word and now as i'm using b3 column 2 is file and length of this file i'm using 4 so it's counting like that b3 column 2 is position 0 and then b3 column 3 is 1 and then 2 3 and then 4 so it's working like that so basically b3 column 2 is a position 0 and destination i'm using output column 2 which i'm using output column 2 this is a one output card so make sure to use this instruction your output has to be it must be in one output card in one output card which is output column 2 right so this is all one card and after that I'm using uh, this mask you can modify this mask according to you whatever you want and to control this I'm using control register which is R6 uh, 0 R6 column 0 so this output register has enable eu dn em these all bits and as you can see i'm using the length 4 so it, it it can it can tell you what length of this file you are taking because it's a control register and once it reached number 4 it will go back to 1 instead of 0 because 0 is a reset position so to reset this uh, this register r6 column 0 which is controlling everything i have to use one reset instruction over here and i'm using one timer on bit to perform that still five second delay which is like after five seconds all three leds will turn off and i'm using this as a equal to three which is all three lights when three lights gonna be on then it will make it true and the five second will start counting timer and i'm using this register six position as i showed you here uh, this control register it's a tie uh, i'm using is position what position it's at when i'm gonna count this you can see that i'm gonna demonstrate right now it's in run mode right now okay when i'm gonna press this button it's position one and as you're gonna see this position is one now and when I'm gonna press this button again two lights are on which is position two and in binary table it's at this position right now number two so it's zero one two three and then four is all off again so as soon as it's gonna be number three position it will make it true and timer gonna start counting and it will make it reset when the timer gonna be done so that's how you can program sequencer output instruction thank you very much